6.7. Be able to use definitions of sine, cos and tan for any positive angle up to 360 degrees. OK, this is part of my ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSC, the geometry section. Here's the index button to take you back to the index for geometry. And any exam questions I've done on these topics, I will, I will put links to in this bar here. OK, um, the ideas behind this I've actually gone over in 6.6 .6, um, when drawing... Uh, sketches of sine, cos and tan. That's the how I prefer to work out these sort of questions. Some people use things called cast diagrams but um, unfortunately I'm not going to go over that here. What I'm going to do is to show you how to do it properly with a graph. Um, so hopefully the, this will make some sense to you. But you probably best to look at 6.6 .6 first to help you um, get used to how what the sine, cos and tan graphs look like. Okay, so the first question here, and well, I'm going to go through these two questions, give you some examples of the sort of things that might be asked. Okay, so given that cos 30 degrees is root 3 upon 2, work out a value of x between 19 and 360 for which cos x is uh, where that value is root 3 upon 2. So for 30 degrees, it's root 3 upon 2. Is there another one? Um, obviously, there is, otherwise, they wouldn't be asking the question. So it helps if you can quickly sketch a cos graph. Okay, so if we've got some axes here, you don't need fancy axes for this, you just need to be able to, to draw yourself a cos curve. Now the cos curve starts at 1, goes through 0, down to 180, back to 270, and then up to 360. So this is 1, this is minus 1 down here. So it looks a little bit like this. Hopefully I can draw a decent version of this. Um, oops, that last bit's not very good. Okay, back up to 360 there. Let's just rub a little bit of that out. Okay, so that's good enough. So um, we're told that cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. Now it doesn't matter what root value root 3 upon 2 is, but here's 30 here. Okay, and whatever value this is here, I've done it quite steep here, let's do it there. Um, that's root 3 upon 2. So the cos of 30 on this graph gives you root 3 upon 2. So we've got to find another one between 90 and 360, which is the same. So all we've got to do is come across to this point over here and work out what this value over here is. Now, if this is 30 degrees coming in this way from this side, let's actually use a different colour there. So we're coming in 30 degrees from the left, from 0. Because this is symmetrical about 180, um, if we start at 360 and come in 30 degrees this way, will be in exactly the same spot, so root 3 upon 2, root 3 upon 2. So that will be at the value um, that's 30 degrees less than 360, that's 330. So we're taking the symmetry of the graph, um, looking at the graph, looking at what value we're trying to find, and trying to figure out where the other one is. So that's going to be at uh, x, it's going to be equal to 330 degrees. OK, so now we've got on with the sign. Now, these, these graphs aren't that easy to draw when you first start, but with a little bit of practice, you should get used to doing them. Um, so we're going to draw a sine graph now. I'm going to just plonk it over that cos graph because I need the space. OK, given that sine 210 is minus a half, work out a value of sine 150. So start by drawing a sine curve. It starts at 0, goes up to 90, back down to 180, down to 270, back up to 0 at 360. And it's the same shape as the cos graph, um, just sort of moved across slightly. OK, so it looks like that. So we're looking at the value minus a half. So that's our minus 1, this is 1. Minus a half is here. OK, so we're going across to there and there. So there's one value of minus a half. Here's another value of minus a half. Now, it sort of doesn't help that I've drawn this on a scale here because then it looks like these are different values, but they're, you know, if it's drawn perfectly accurately, then this value here, which is at 210, which is the minus one, minus a half value here, that should be minus a half there. Um, work out the value of 150. Well, that's 30 degrees to the right of that. So if we go 30 degrees to the left, again, let's actually use a different colour. With 30 degrees to the right, 30 degrees to the left. So 30 degrees to the right is 210. So if I'm coming to the left, 30 degrees, I'm coming up to this value here, because that's 150. 
That value there is the same as this value. It's just that this was negative, this is positive version because it's the same steepness of the curve. The symmetry of the graph is the same. Um, it's just this is a positive version, this is a negative version. So this is minus a half, this is going to be a half. Okay, so it doesn't have to be drawn accurately. In fact, um, it might help if you actually draw just a quick sketch like this and then think about the values. So that's that's 180, this is 210, this one's going to be 150. So that's 30 that way, that's 30 this way. So these two values are the same, it's just that this one is negative and this one is positive. Okay, so the value is just going to be um, sine 150, it's going to be a half. Now these, these questions can be asked on a calculator or non-calculator, possibly better, uh, more likely to be on a non-calculator so you can't use your calculator to work out these values. Um, uh, calculators tend to only give the values between minus 90 um, when you join graphs. So between this, well actually no, on a cos it'll be, it'll probably be between 0 and 180. On a sine graph it's, it's um, comes, the sine graph comes down to here, so it's going to be from minus 90 to 90. So if you're doing sine to the minus 1 of minus a half, it'll probably give you the negative value for that. So the calculator is not all that useful. You've got to know, and if you're going on to do A-level maths, you really need to know these curves inside and out. Okay, so that's two examples of how you use the curve, uh, the symmetry of the graph, to be able to answer questions like this.